information on the clubhouse. Helen Carr. Yeah, I'm substituting for Marita Powell. It says there on there. And I'd like to say that my stepfather is a, was a resident of Josephine City, one of the natives and grandchild of Benjamin Franklin, and was an avid baseball player, as my father was, but my stepfather. And my stepfather, whose name was Ralph Page, helped to me to develop my love for baseball, and he carried me as a teenager to see the Baltimore Elite Giants in Baltimore, <laughs> Maryland, Black People uh, League back in the back in the day. Okay, <laughs> this was the community center where citizens gathered for dances and socials. It later became the clubhouse for the Josephine City baseball team. That is why I was telling mm. about uh, my stepfather. Each African-American town in the Shenandoah Valley had an organized baseball team. There was much competition between the teams. They would go from town to town and you'd go and root and so forth. The highlight of the year was the annual Easter Monday baseball game played at Pulliam's Field in Berryville. And in 1930, after they built the Johnson Williams High School <coughs> over there, um, the games were played on the high school baseball field. But this is it's a little disrepair now, but this mm -hmm. was the clubhouse back in the day. Okay, baseball was big to the community. Hold on. Hi, how you doing? I'm Rob Andrews. I'm married into uh, uh, the Reynolds family. And uh, when I came down here 30 some years ago, it fascinated me how everybody spoke. I was born and raised in D.C. It was a little different. But you, if you go down the street, they wave at you. You come back up the street, they wave at you. You come back down the street, they wave at you. But this house is where my mother-in-law was born in 1923. Now, a lot of a lot of people are born in hospitals. My, my mother-in-law had nine girls, and all of them were born. I don't know if it was a midwife, but they were born here, except my, my wife. She was uh, born in a hospital out of the nine girls. <laughs> but uh, that fascinated me, because I, I when she told me about Berryville, I thought it was a country town with all some chickens running around. I was so excited to come down here. I was so disappointed when I saw the brick house they grew up in. I wanted the log cabin style house. <laughs> but anyway, this is a little history in our family right here. That's where my mom was born. <laughs> and Mr. Hopper here, he has the original, one of the original jerseys for the baseball team and the baseball bat. Mm -hmm. I got the swing. <laughs> All right, we're going